You know, during this pandemic, it's given folks a lot of time to really focus on themselves. Many even maybe hone in on their finances. Unfortunately, in the meantime, it's given scammers plenty of time to take advantage of folks hard earned money. Tonight, our Michael Gibson reports how one couple almost fell victim to a scam offering a seemingly great deal on a rental home. It is in tonight's top story. He isn't scamming just me. He took a house off of Zillow and he offered it on Craigslist as his own personal house. Lynette Howe and her husband were looking for a house to rent over the Memorial Day weekend. But they realized that real estate companies were going to be closed until Tuesday, so they checked out Craigslist. That's when they noticed a house they had been looking at on Zillow was now being offered on Craigslist for $400 less than it was priced on Zillow. A tempting offer that started a flurry of text messages between the supposed owner and Lynette. But then this happened. He said that if I left the deposit um, by the lockbox or by the entrance doorway, then he'd have somebody pick it up and leave the keys and the paperwork, but that he didn't live here and so he couldn't do it himself and that he was afraid of COVID. Um, he even threw it into effect that he had lost his elder sister. And so he wasn't doing house tours or anything like that. Lynette says she was very suspicious, so she drove by the house and simply loved it. Still, things weren't adding up, so she decided to wait and make a phone call. The questions he was asking was, they weren't normal questions for a rental property. And so that was a flag as well, as he couldn't meet me or, you know, paperwork or anything like that. And he just kept, you know, being persistent and asking for the money. And so I, um, Tuesday, I waited Tuesday and I actually called the real estate company that their name is out front of the house. And I told them, I, I talked to them and I'm like, well, who's the owner? You know, I've been in contact with this man over the weekend and he says he owns the house. And they told me directly that they, you, the owner will never contact you. Lynette's suspicions proved correct. The realtor told her the scammers are using legitimate real estate listings and then posting them elsewhere all in an effort to scam unsuspecting people out of cash. Lynette says she's fortunate that she didn't fall for this trick and she wanted to warn others out there to be very careful. She also says she did contact Craigslist about the scam that almost cost her $900 for a deposit and possibly the first month's rent of 1,000 bucks. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Beware.